a morning that feels like midnight. Haven't really slept that much since I've arrived in Havana. We see the mystical tree knowing that the mystical man's not so far away with his mystical machete. And here is the famous tree that Jorge is nearby. Wow, that is beautiful. That which he's done, I've heard so much about. That which awaits, I don't know. That's it. We are here. <laughs> so we have arrived here at Jorge Goliath's. As you can hear, it's pretty lively. Not what I was expecting. I've been to two psychic surgeons before. Everyone's got a different process. I did not expect the music. It's very lively music. Most of the times I've been to these things, it's either been like very quiet music or no music. So I was kind of surprised by that. Um, I would say if I just showed up and I was walking by, I would have no idea what's going on inside here. There's no part of my mind where I'd be like, oh, you know what's inside? There's a dude with a machete doing surgeries on people, psychic surgeries. I would be clueless. All of this makes me sound like a serious masochist. I assure you, I am not. Or maybe I'm just in complete denial. Is this also music specifically? Yeah, salsa, okay. salsa, salsa. So for those of you salsa. that like me that don't know the difference yeah. between salsa and cha-cha. Yeah, no, this is 100% salsa. Well, that's, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. salsa, healing, and machetes. <laughs> it's gonna be this new cross thing in, in Miami and LA. <laughs> machetes and salsa. Thanks to Gloria Stefan, I was always worried that the rhythm was gonna get me. Waiting for Jorge Goliath is this bizarre combination of waiting at your dentist's office with an impending sense of dread before a root canal. Mixed with waiting backstage for your favorite rock star. If that rock star also happened to perform miracles with a machete. Very much to say. <laughs> I'm about to get cut by a machete. How do you feel? I mean, there's, there's some nervousness, right? You know? Yeah. You're not worried about something bad happening on grave or whatever. Well, I wasn't until you said that. I mean, the temporary painful discomfort? Sure. sure. So I'm waiting for Jorge Goliath. And I'm nervous because I don't like machetes coming at me. I'm funny like that. And I decide I'm going to start talking to people and hearing about their experiences. You know, small talk. What you do in these kind of situations? Ask them questions like, hey, how was it last time he put a machete inside of you? How did that feel? How do you feel afterwards? Are all the people you know who got machete psychic surgery still alive? You know, like these really like basic kind of questions that you probably might have if you were about to get machete psychic surgery in a foreign country. Okay, let's be honest. You're probably not getting machete psychic surgery in a foreign country. That's my thing. Ahora vengo por la columna y tenía una pequeña gastritis. Ah, ok. Y la cervical me sacaron un quiste pequeño y he reaccionado a, a la maravilla porque me siento bien, ya los malestares se me quitaron. Wow. Y dele gracias a Dios, como uno dice, que todo va bien. Mi esposo se operó de, de un quiste en los testículos, que ya era como un cáncer ya grande. Wow. I definitely don't want that one. Se veía. Se siente muy bien porque ya el dolor se le quitó la inflamación. Usted fue con el doctor normal. Él fue y no le mandaron tratamiento ninguno. And they didn't give any treatment. Y decidimos venir aquí. And then we decided to come here. Y hemos tenido resultados. Y en este momento cómo se siente? Bastante bien. Sí. Bastante bien. Very very well. Bien 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 bien. Bien bien. Gracias. what it's all about. So I've come all this way and the first thing that jumps out to me about Jorge is that he is dressed immaculately. He's wearing all whites, which is common in the cultural traditions of both Santeria and Palo. He's sort of a combination of a doctor, a priest, and a medium. Sounds like a setup for a good joke. Wow. Ahora ves bien. 
Veo bastante bien, sí, pero ahora eso requiere de otra segunda operación. Porque he visto mejoría, los dolores de cabeza ya no son constantes. Ah, gracias. I'm hoping to avoid the head surgery. I hope he goes somewhere in my midsection, but what's needed is what's needed. Spoiler alert. That's not even close to the worst surgery you can get. Jorge Goliath has changed out of his ritual clothing, and now he's gone on his green scrubs, and it is go time. Oh. Front row, center court, backstage, boom, I'm here. <laughs> I know you've heard me refer to Jorge Goliath as the machete psychic surgeon, but that's far too limiting. Because he also uses hammers, pipes, and hooks. He's really well-rounded. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It makes all the difference. Thank you so much.